last week you saved Logan Gregg from nomination. You know, a week changes things. You're questioning the decision I've made and accusing me of something. You asked me to nominate somebody, so I'm nominating somebody. Hello? That caused my emotions to stir. <gasps> ah. She seems to think that I uh, have no emotions and I don't show any feelings or affection or anything like that to other housemates. Now, you asked me to pick people at this late stage in the process. Now, why wouldn't you just have us all be nominated? Um, it's ridiculous. This is the final countdown for Big Brother 2005. Live from Dreamworld on the Gold Coast, please welcome your host, Gretel Killeen. Oh, very exciting. Oh, what a joy. Sitting down, it never happens. Hello and welcome to our Big Brother special, The Final Countdown. Tonight will be a full night with our three Big Brother finalists of 2005 joining us from the house. We're going head to head with all of your questions. Well, actually, not all of your questions, some of your questions, because we received thousands of them. Invading the house, of course, we are doing that tonight with the winner of UK Big Brother, Nadia. That will be interesting. Ooh, indeed. And of course, we will be chatting with last night's evictee, Melanie, who spent a lovely day with her new Hyundai Terracan. Now, she'll be joining us moments before Nadia enters the house to give her special perspective on what's the best and worst one can expect from a down under Big Brother experience. But before we catch up with Melanie, the mouse who roared, let's cross to the three people who may or may not be expecting us to drop in this evening. <laughs> The remaining Big Brother housemates. I inhale all the toxic fumes. Dad! Oh! <laughs> Hello. Hello, house. There's right. mine. <laughs> well, you look like an invigorating oh, bunch. Oh, my God, that. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Uh, the picture's behind, behind you. you. Oh, my God. What's behind? Oh, can you side. see yourselves? <laughs> I'm glad you can. I can hardly see you on this screen. All right, now, Vesna, you've got dressed up. Were you told that we'd be having a chat today, tonight? Uh, yeah, we were told. And were you told that you're nominating again? This is something, Tim, I know that you'd find a little shocking because last week, Tim, you were outraged that with three remaining housemates other than yourself, you'd had to nominate two. And tonight there are two remaining housemates yeah. and you have to nominate two. Yeah, what do you I mean? It's just getting harder and harder. Um, this almost called you best It's getting harder and harder, Griddle. I'm joking, Tim. How could you possibly nominate two I'm people sorry. and only two remaining? <laughs> oh, so we're not nominating? <laughs> no. We're not? Or you can, Bessner, if you want. <laughs> Who do you Thank nominate? She nominates every 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> How has the house been? Is it feeling empty without Mel? Are you noticing a difference there? Um, yeah, I'd say so, yeah. But you fell in love with Mel, didn't you, Greg? I've, I've fallen in love with everyone, Gretel. <laughs> you are getting better at your comebacks. Thank well you. done. <laughs> well done. Now, we are going to have head-to-heads with each of you. One after the other. So, Greg, do you want to head into the rewards room? Certainly. Go on, Greg. Cool. Thank and you. the remaining two, you may sit and chat. And oh. we'll miss you and we'll catch up with you a bit later. Great. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, while Greg squeezes his bum into the special rewards room, which is, of course, the final three thrown, thrown let's see what Greg promised to deliver just 93 days ago as he auditioned for Big Brother. And he auditioned only minutes after his identical twin, David. So you're the dominant twin? Dominant? <laughs> yeah. Since growing up, like, we've, I've had this one thing to say who's better than who. And we always relate it back to me being um, the Blue House uh, captain and Dave being the vice captain. Um, so this was a challenge <laughs> that we thought it could end all bragging rights. I do think I win the million dollars. Tell you, when you see me pull him up on things, it's not because I want to f 
do whatever I can take to win this thing because it generally hurts me seeing him upset other people. Rodio, it f***ing does. It, it, it mentally scars me because I then know it will reflect who I am. If I get on the show, as long as I don't get kicked off beforehand, I'll be happy. Time to go. Logan David. Oh. I was, I'm pretty disappointed that he had to go. Definitely enjoy the time I spent with him in the house and just sad to see him go. And then I'm here, you know what I mean? I feel a little bit guilty. It didn't matter who was going to go. At the end of the day, I, you know, we're, we're pretty much one person. I do love you. you know, oh, how you cute. Know, I'll see you when you get out. I come across as I'm really smart, but deep down I'm not. Which of the following is not a play by Shakespeare? The tragedy of Coriolanus. The tragedy of Romeo and Juliet. The comical history of the merchant of Vienna. The comical history of of the merchant of Venice. Thank you, Tim. That is correct. Well, it was once I picked up this girl, and it was a terrible effort, and I told her that I was him. How do you use my name, mate? Sorry, mate. I don't know which one you are. <laughs> no, it's, it's Dave, the one that you should be thinking about talking to, I'd say. Couldn't you tell? Because I really wasn't thinking. Yeah, well, I know. Either. I came up to you to give you a cuddle last night before I went to bed, and mate, I didn't get mate. one. I, don't worry, I, I would have, but I didn't think it was right. I like to hang out with my mates, drink alcohol. And have girls. Would you say there's a possibility of a tea that anything would happen on the outside? She asked me that, what do you think is going to happen to us when we get out? I said, I think we'll become very good friends. Well, my mother's most worried about if I get in the house and I sleep with a tramp. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think people will think I'm very strategic and manipulative because I think I come across as a very, you know, very easygoing person. It's not a good feeling when you try and make an effort, okay? Yeah. And constantly people will say the same thing over and over again that you're closed, that you don't share emotions, and like that. It's not a good feeling. And if you think I don't think about it, it's like, because oh, you should know me better than that. Deep down, I'll be, I'll be definitely, definitely playing the game. OK, it's time to hold Greg up in the rewards room and ask him your brain-bruising, mind-manipulating, neuro-numbing questions. Hello, Greg. Oh, hello. Hello. What were you thinking about just then? Um, I was just thinking how different the rewards room actually looked at the moment. It looked pretty funny. There's fluffy bean bags and all sorts of other stuff in here at the moment. So. It's the interrogation room now, Greg. Yeah. I have questions. Excellent. They're all in the Big Brother hat. I'll just choose them randomly. These are questions from our magnificent audience across the nation. We've had thousands and thousands and thousands sent in, but I'm okay. randomly choosing only a few. Okay, are you ready? So I'm ready whenever. Laura from St Ives. Greg, you said last week you know what type of girl you are looking for when you get out of the house. Can you describe her so we can get ready? <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be quick. Okay, Laura. Um, the girl I, I suppose I'm looking for is someone who is very... Uh, Fun, outgoing, um, obviously likes to, who enjoys her fitness, he's very down to earth um, and he just has a natural presence in making people feel welcome all the time. For example, who's someone that you'd love to be with? Love to be with? Yeah, quick, quick. Um, oh, go on, you can't... <laughs> Come on. Uh, you, Gretel. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Okay, next question. Emily from Canberra. Greg. Have you missed David in the last few weeks? Um, yes, I definitely, I definitely have missed him. Do you uh, feel guilty that you're the one in the house? Yeah, I, I do. That was the, I think that was the, the word I most commonly used. I did feel a little bit guilty because he was probably the, um, the brother who um, kept pushing towards getting, like, wanting to get on the show. So, yeah, there was a, a big bit of guilt playing um, over my head for, for quite some time. and still is at the moment. So. Yes, and he'll make you feel like that forever. Oh, I know he will. I know yeah. he will. OK, right. next question. Yep. This one is from Melissa from Melbourne. Greg, if Greg wins BB05, will he split the money in half with David? Uh, we'll have to do a rock, scissors, paper on that one. <laughs> Aren't no, you representing the Logans in there? Yeah. You're still representing the twins, aren't uh, yeah, you? Yeah, I am. I, I definitely will be. Not a, yeah, 